My wife has been asking for a porch swing for a while, and I thought it would be really fun to surprise her with one for her birthday coming up. She loves spending time outdoors, especially gardening, so I figured this would be a perfect spot to put the porch swing so that we can enjoy the beautiful garden together. I've spent some time in Fusion 360 designing this porch swing, and I'm really happy with the design so far. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I use Fusion 360 a lot, and in this design specifically, I was able to use the parametric features to slowly dial in the different dimensions that I wanted for the porch swing. I've got a lot of pieces in this design that are identical to one another, so I'm going to use the Inventables X-Carve to cut out templates for each piece. Inventables was kind enough to sponsor this video. If you're interested in learning more about the X-Carve, I'll have a link in the description where you can check that out. I'll take those templates and I'll use a flush trim bit on my router to cut out the rest of the pieces. So let me go ahead and get started. Now that I've got all the templates cut out, it's time to cut the actual pieces out of the cedar lumber. Once I get all my stock pieces cut out, I'll use painter's tape and CA glue to attach the template to the stock pieces. Then I'll head over to the bandsaw to rough cut out the stock pieces, and then to clean things up, I'll use a flush trim bit on my router. I got all my stock pieces cut out using the templates and I've sanded all the pieces down so that they're nice and smooth. I went ahead and I mocked this up just to show you how it's gonna look. The next step will be to round over all the edges on the router and then once I've done that, I can apply a finish. For the finish, I'm gonna be using a spar urethane. At this point, I've put a round over on all the edges and I put a coat of spar urethane on all the pieces. Now I'm ready to assemble the porch swing and get it installed on the back porch. Before I assemble this porch swing, I wanted to briefly talk about Bite Size supporting members. When you become a Bite Size supporting member, you'll gain access to early release videos, behind the scenes content, monthly hangouts, and much more. If this is something that you're interested in, you can either visit patreon.com forward slash bite size or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button below. This is a really great way for me to connect with you on a more personal level.
To pre-drill the holes on the ends of the slats, I used a little jig on the drill press, but to get the hole in the center of the slats was a little bit more difficult, so I 3D printed this little jig, and now I'm gonna use it. If you're new to Bite Size, you may not know that I make a lot of other cool project videos like this. I'll go ahead and post a couple of those here at the end that I think you might enjoy. If you enjoy project videos like this and you feel like I've earned it, please consider subscribing to Bite Size, and that way you can keep up to date with all the projects that I'm working on. That wraps up this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is Zach, and I look forward to seeing you next time.